What's going on everyone? Great Talent here and today the prey is going to be your weekly game movie and TV update. So this is for the week of 513. So first off here today we're going to start multi-platform side of the news of the video game world. Rocksteady Studios uh, developer may have just confirmed the Justice League game. So there's been long rumors going around that Rocksteady, the creators of Batman Arkham series, have going to be going out to make a Another DC game, and now they're saying, recent reports, they're saying their game is codenamed Outlaws, and they're going to be uh, making a Justice League game, that's just the codename is Outlaws. So, um, there's a, a tweet that actually was posted and then removed stating, I guess now is a good time to say I'm, I'm joining the awesome team at Rocksteady Games. Uh, someone tweeted and he had a picture of the Justice League and then he recouped it and took it down after he posted it. So I guess they told him to take it down to instead of if, if he was misconveying a message. So, I mean, you could take this uh, with a grain of salt, but honestly, I really hope it's a Justice League game and not a Suicide Squad game, which I also heard might, might be what they're working on. I think we're overdue for a Justice League game. Just let them all go at it, man. Let, I'm not crazy about Suicide Squad. I want the Justice League, man. I want to play as fucking Flash and Green Lantern and Superman and all that other good stuff. So, uh, I'll be watching this closely and I'll be reporting to you my findings on this as time goes on. Next up, the uh, Oddworld series, a new game called Oddworld Soulstorm, has got a new gameplay trailer. Uh, this game will be coming out in 2020, but they just released a new trailer to showcase what the game looks like. And it looks really good. It's like a side-scrolling game, so um, like a 3D side-scrolling game. So yeah, I'll, I'm actually all on board with this. Um, once this comes out, I'm definitely going to check it out. It's like a 3D uh, side-scrolling puzzle game, if I remember correctly. So uh, yeah, this is Oddworld Soulstorm, due out in early 2020. The 2009 Ghostbusters video game, which actually starred the cast of the original movies, is apparently getting a remaster. Uh, how'd you like that? I actually love this game. It even had co-op too, which was awesome. Uh, this game, um, you know, it came out in 2009. Had, it was like a, like a the third Ghostbusters movie because you play as a new recruit. Uh, you know, it, it was pretty cool. It had pretty cool cutscenes and everything, and it, and it felt like a Ghostbusters game. So I would be love to play a, a remastered version of this game. Absolutely. 120% on board with this. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters, baby. Okay, Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, and Detroit Become Human uh, have PC release dates uh, and demos have been announced pre prior to uh, PS4 exclusives. Um, so they're going to be coming out. Heavy Rain will be out on June 24th, uh, 1999. Um, demo available May 24th. Beyond Two Souls is July 22nd. Uh, demo available June 27th, and Detroit Become Human will be the fall. Demo available sometime this summer. Uh, so yeah, that's great news. I mean, anybody with the PC and wanting to play this on PS4, go ahead. You can now this summer into fall. Ten more titles have been revealed for the Sega Genesis Mini. Um, total of 40 games, 30 of which have been unveiled. Uh, the new games include Mega Man The Wily War, Street Fighter 2 Secret Special Championship Edition, Ghouls and Ghosts, Alex Kidd The Enchanted Castle, Beyond Oasis, Golden Axe, Fantasy Star 4, um, Sonic the Hedgehog Spinball, Vectorman, and Wonder Boy and Monster World. Uh, the previous uh, third 20 titles have been uh, also included in this list as well, in case you don't know. Sonic the Hedgehog, Echo the Dolphin, Castlevania Bloodline, Space Harrier 2, Shining Force, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Green Machine, Toe Gem and Earl, Comic Zone, Ultra Beast, Gunstar Heroes, Earthworm Jim, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse, World of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, Contra Hardcore, um, and Thunder Force uh, 3, Super Fantasy Zone, Shinobi 3, Streets of Rage 2, and Lance Stalker, and my god, my mouth is dry. <laughs> so yeah, this is coming out this fall, I believe it's a retail price of $79.99, and it's great. I would definitely look, if I had the space for it, I would get this like day one. I was a big Genesis fan growing up, and that list is fucking brolic. Uh, so yeah, that's something else to look forward to this fall. Due out September, I think, 6th, I believe. Interesting news this week, more interesting news. Sony and Microsoft have begun a collaboration and partnership to improve cloud-based gaming and streaming platforms. So Sony needs uh, to do something with their streaming platform and cloud-based service. And we thought previously they would go to migrate to Amazon to battle combat Google in their Stadia nonsense machine. But now it seems like the enemy of my enemy is my friend here and Sony is looking at Microsoft and they're going to work together. I hope this opens up doors for future collaborations and projects because these two giants together would make something really special and stop this whole console wars, uh, nip it in the, like stop it once and for all. Uh, so yeah, this would be an interesting to see how this plays out as time goes on. 
The Code Vein video game uh, network test will be happening uh, May 31st uh, for until June 3rd. So if you signed up for the beta, you know, like I said, if you signed up for the beta before, you know, you can have it for three days, uh, from like May 31st until June 3rd. I signed up. I'm going to be playing it. I'll give you my reaction once I play it, but it looks really cool. I hope it's just as hard as Dark Souls because I would love to play an anime type Dark Souls game. It, it just looks really, really good. I hope it lives up to the hype. And finally, last but not least, um, Bruce Campbell, star of um, The Evil Dead, Ash, uh, <laughs> uh, has confirmed a walking, oh, excuse me, a new Evil Dead video game will be coming very, very soon. And it's not just any video game. Apparently, it's a big scale video game. So hopefully, it's not like a free-to-play, triple-A game. I hopefully, it's actually a quality game with a single-player experience. I would definitely be looking forward to playing that in the not too distant future, I hope, because I love Evil Dead series. Moving along to your Nintendo Switch side of the news this week, very light this week, it's all about Super Mario Maker, which I find great. It get, keeps getting better the more I keep reading about Super Mario Maker. So, um, Super Mario Maker 2 has clear pipes, uh, Cooper car, Trooper cars, and track blocks, and more. Um, you're going to be having a lot of fun building in this game or playing little built levels. Also, Super Mario Maker 2 uh, Moon lets you create nighttime courses as well. So you can swap the, the uh, you can flip the script and you can actually choose to do night courses as opposed to day, just daytime courses. So that's pretty cool. And what I find most interesting, and you know I'm a big narrative story guy, Super Mario Maker 2 has a story mode that challenges you to rebuild Peach's castle. So I... Fuck yeah, let's let's do it. Let's just do it. I'm I'm on board. I'm gonna get this day one. I wasn't gonna get this, to be honest. I, I wasn't a fan of Mario Maker 1, but um, to be honest, you know, Mario Maker 2 looks really fucking good. I mean, I'm not that creative in terms of like building, but I'll play the created levels absolutely 110%. Um, but so yeah, I'm definitely gonna be getting this probably the first week it comes out. So I'll let you know my thoughts on this after I play it. Okay, and very even lighter on the Xbox side of the news this week. First off, Gears 5 po uh, release date has been possibly leaked. Um, according to Generation Xbox, um, they have been focusing on the Xbox coverage lately, and they're saying with the uh, box art has been tweeted and release date has been uh, solidified for, I um, believe they said it was early September. So, um yeah, if you uh, if this comes true, that'd be really cool. It'd be September 10th, it would come out, um, which actually is like a few days before Borderlands 3. So yeah, so that that's just something to keep on the back burner. We'll see, I'm sure we'll see more about this at E3. I heard uh, Gears 5 has a big presence at E3, so we'll see uh, that story unfold as the weeks go on. And also leaving Game Pass this month. Uh, unfortunately, um, a lot of Star Wars games are leaving. You get Force Unleashed one and two. Um, are leaving this month. Uh, Comic Jumper, Misplosion Man, and the Mega Man Legacy Collection of MotoGP will be leaving this month uh, on Xbox Game Pass for those you Game Pass uh, people out there. And the lightest news of this week comes from the PlayStation side. Uh, just your new PlayStation Now games, which now include Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, the following list of games are now available on the PlayStation Now service. 8-Bit Armies, Batman Arkham Knight, Brawl Out, uh, Brawl Out, yeah, Dangerous Call, Lego Ninjago Movie, uh, Majin the Forsaken Kingdom, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which is really cool, uh, Miko Gaku, I have no idea what that is, Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter, and Tales of Zestiria. Um, so yeah, uh, that's those are the games for this month on uh, PlayStation Now. I'm not a supporter of PlayStation Now. I think it's too overly priced and the streaming thing I'm not a fan of. But if you're a PlayStation Now fan, oh, these are your games for May. Now for your major disc-based video game releases of this week. First up, we have something that came out of nowhere, was brought to my attention, called A Plague Tale of Innocence, or Plague Tale, excuse me, Innocence, which actually takes place in the Middle Ages, and it's a stealth game, survival game, where you have to just hide from these soldiers who are just murdering everyone in your town during the Crusades and the Dark Times, while avoiding fucking infestations of rats and shit. Uh, with a touching, heartwarming tale. Uh, I already bought this yesterday. Let me dive in. As soon as I'm done with Days Gone, I am fucking digging in head first in this game. So that came out on May 14th for the PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Next up, we have a interesting overhead top uh, overhead camera game called Darkwood, which released this week on the PS4, Switch, and Xbox One alike. It's a weird little quirky, little nightmarish looking game. Uh, not sure if I'll check this one out, but it looks pretty interesting nevertheless. 
Next up this week, uh, another game I picked up yesterday myself, Rage 2, but from it and uh, software and Avalanche Studios on the PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Looks over the top fucking ridiculous, like Wolfenstein, Doom, fused together into one glorious package. I'm going to be checking this out after a Plague of Tale of Innocence. I have so many games in my backlog already, it's it's growing, people, it's, it's growing. Um, so that was out this week on May 14th. Next up this week for the Nintendo Switch, a Wipeout looking game called Red Out which is on the Nintendo Switch on May 14th. This game looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's like a racing game, like F-Zero, like white slash wipeout game um, out this week on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, another game called World End Syndrome is out this week on May 14th on the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch. It just looks like a quirky little anime game. So yeah, and it has murder in it and death and destruction. So uh, you can look forward to that too this week. Out for the PC, PS4, and Switch this week is a game that nobody should experience, nobody should ever play, called Bubsy Paws on Fire, because never, ever trust or play Bubsy. Ever. And out this week as well on the Nintendo Switch, PS4, PC, and Xbox One is another game I'm picking up on the Switch. I'm going broke this week, apparently. Thank God I got paid. Um, Castlevania Legacy Collection, which concludes with like eight Castlevania games, and my personal favorite, Super Castlevania 4, um, which I'm going to be diving into. I cannot wait to play this. I'm going to be playing it all next week on my break at work and you know on the weekend and stuff. So... Uh, I am so happy that this is out for the Switch because I love games like this on the go. I think 2D platformers should all be played on the go, and it's just great. So, that was your major disc based games for this week releasing. Oh, and uh, don't think I forgot the Nintendo Switch eShop releases um, this week. I'm going to be posting the link in the description below, which uh, for North America and Europe alike. Um, something worth note this week uh, that's coming next week is going to be a bunch of Resident Evil games uh, Resident Evil 0, 1. Um, for uh, Team Sonic Racing is coming to the store, so I'll be covering that next week. But this is just like a little preview of what's to come. So I'll be posting that in a link in the description, both links in the description below. North America and Europe eShop releases for this past week. Uh, can't stare at that too long. Sorry, gotta move on fast. Gotta be fast, gotta be fast, gotta be dead. So first off in your movie news this week, which makes up the majority of this video, uh, Sega distanced themselves from the Sonic the Hedgehog movie as well they fucking should because to be associated with this picture of death is something that you would just don't want to do, folks. You just really don't. So, yeah, Sega actually said, went on to say, um, it's not a Sega movie. We're not making it or anything. We're only the advisor, really. We have nothing to do with this fucking picture of horror right here. This fucking hideous chode. So, yeah, I thought that I thought I found that kind of funny to, to, to actually report. But, um, yeah. So, anyway, moving along. To a successful... Uh, video game character Pokemon Detective Pikachu writers are actually interested in making a Super Smash Brothers movie They're saying that they hope that this movie is so, uh, really considered a success Detective Pikachu so that I mean I would actually I'm going to see this tomorrow by the way Detective Pikachu So I'm going to be posting my review, but anyway if this movie is really that much of a success I want a crossover. I want a fucking Smash Brothers movie. Let's just have it man It's been almost 30 years. Let's just fucking do it man. I am on board with this Okay, so now it has officially been stated that the next set of Star Wars movies releasing in 2022, 24, and 26 will come from the Game of Thrones showrunners, which will be based in the Old Republic trilogy. They're not my favorite people at the moment because I'm not crazy about where they're taking the Game of Thrones finale, but that's another video for another day. Uh, but this is just actually goes to show you, and actually speculations have already began to form, stating that um, Ryan Johnson's trilogy has been cancelled because in light of the the Game of Thrones showrunners trilogy and this that was just an excuse for Disney to say okay let their trilogy go first and they're gonna slowly fade out Ryan Johnson and thank God for that because this motherfucker is a cancer of the industry and he's a fucking plague so get as soon as they get rid of him the sooner the better in my opinion Disney now acquired all full control of Hulu are you listening folks the fucking goddamn conglomerate that they are has now acquired 110 percent access to all hulu so they're going to be putting disney shows on hulu disney shows on disney plus and disney shows on everywhere every single orifice every single device and just goes to show you that with great power comes well um <laughs> Ah! 
and rather shocking turn of events and surprising, actually, to my knowledge, I well, I might actually watch Nickelodeon again because they're doing all that reboot. I used to love all that, the TV show. I will be premiering in June, and it will be starring all of the original cast, including Laura Beth Denberg, Kenan Thompson, Cal Mitchell. I am so on board with this. Um, so, yeah, uh, June, Nickelodeon. Why not? The Mortal Kombat reboot begins finally shooting this year, thank the maker, because we need a good Mortal Kombat that is rated R, rated R people, so it's beginning to shoot this year after it finds its, found its, found its director. So hopefully we'll be seeing this at the end of next year, I hope, one can hope, wishful thinking. All you Black Mirror fans out there, which means just pretty much myself, um, will be premiering Season 5 on June 5th on Netflix. Finally, something for me to watch on Netflix because it's been kind of dry these past few months. Um, so yeah, this is coming. A uh, few new episodes will be premiering um, on June 5th on Netflix. It hasn't even been out a day, folks, or two days. Actually, it's been out a weekend. And John Wick director already has teased Chapter 4 is already in the works. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen 3, just know that there's going to be a 4 because 3 ends on a cliffhanger, and you'll see what I mean if you watch the movie. It's, it's fantastic, though. John Wick series could do no wrong. This director could do no wrong, so God bless them. God bless their little hearts. And just let's keep it coming. Rick and Morty Season 4 has a premiere date. Well, premiere month, rather. November 2019. It's time to get Swift Day again because Rick and Morty are coming back, baby. And in full force. I can't wait for this. I love Rick and Morty so much. I have all the Blu-rays. I have a fucking calendar on my wall. It's it's insane. I love this show way too much. So November, November we are getting Swifty, baby. And the final round of news for the movies this week. Um, Yeah. Uh, glittering, glistening, sparkling vampire boy, Robert Pattinson, is now going to play the Batman in Matt Reeves' film. Now, I'm just going to go on record to say I'm not a fan of this man, but I, when Heath Ledger was announced as the Joker, i got to remember I wasn't really on board with that until I saw it in action, him in action. So maybe they can rework Robert Pattinson to actually uh, be something better than what I think he is. So I'm giving him one shot. Gonna give him one chance. Uh, Matt Reeves, I have faith in. Matt Reeves, if you're not familiar with him, he directed and wrote uh, two out of the three um, Planet of the Apes trilogy that actually starred Andy Serkis a few years ago. And I'm not gonna lie, the last Planet of the Apes movie made me cry. So if Matt Reeves can make me cry, um, I'm gonna give this guy a chance. So that's all I'm saying. And also, and it goes in hand in hand with this news. It seems that reportedly that the Batman villains have been rumored to be the Penguin, Catwoman, and the Riddler. The Riddler gets love. I'm down for that. I am a big Riddler fan. So, um, in the Matt Reeves movie, so uh, can it can it work? Can it work? It can work. Matt Reeves and Matt Reeves, I trust. The man made me cry. He made a beautiful, crafted a beautiful Planet of the Apes trilogy and conclusion. So I have faith in him. I have faith in him almost as much as I do in Christopher Nolan. So I, they go hand in hand. So we'll see what happens in the coming months and years. So Batman has a premiere date so far, tentative of June 25th. 2021 let's see what happens uh, i'm very interested to see where this goes i am not i'm i'm not gonna uh pass final judgment on the man until he's in the cowl and he's on screen acting so he i don't know but we'll have to see how this one uh, this one does folks and next up is your blu-ray releases for this week the 4k blu-ray releases of this week first up the 2005 peter jackson king kong movie in 4k i like this movie i don't know why people didn't i thought it was great so it's available on 4K this week, May 14th, the dropped. Liam Neeson's another action movie, junkie movie, Cold Pursuit, is out on May 14th this week as well. Kevin Costner movie, Field of Dreams, which came out in 1989, about, I think it's a baseball movie, came, comes out this week in uh, 4K as well. May 19th that it released last week, rather. And finally, gearing up for the latest new Godzilla movie, Godzilla 1998, Matthew Broderick movie. <laughs> not, my, not the best uh, rendition of Godzilla, uh, dropped on May 14th last week, and that about does it. So that'll do it for me, folks. I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Uh, a little short one this week. Wasn't that much news going around, but anyway. Um, with that being said, if you guys like the video, why not give it a thumbs up? Why not subscribe? So I am going to be going now. So you guys have a great day, <laughs> and I will talk to you later. I'm off to play Days Gone. Wish me luck.